Edwards gets it back and threw it down. And one from the Raptors. Anthony Edwards, I mean, he had the dunk of the year last night. I'm not even sure it was close. We don't want to hear he threw it in. We don't want to hear any of that. This was a certified throwdown, and here's exactly how it happened. We're going to pick this one up when it matters. Brian Windhorst in the third quarter. Timberwolves down 66-65. Anthony Edwards gets out on the break. It's just a give and go. That's all it is. Oh, no. Send it in, Anthony. Send it in. <laughs> Sean Collins, he dislocated his finger on the play, the bench. His teammates cannot believe it. We need to see this again. You said it's just a simple give and go. Oh, my goodness, Kendrick. Did you see it? Look, he took off a step in front of the free throw line. Hey, Wendy. Wendy. No, I've never done it. No, Wendy. You want to see a dead body? <laughs> he dislocated his finger. It was on well John worth Collins it. It was neck. well worth it. Collins was ruled out for the rest of the game with a head oh. contusion. Rightfully his teammates so. are in disbelief. Edwards finished the game with 32 points, eight assists, seven rebounds. Take a listen to Anthony Edwards after the game. Well, Ant says it's the biggest dunk of his career, so let's take a look at his best ever. This is his rookie season. Oh, my goodness. Look February how high 19th. his head is. Oh, my gosh. This is against the Raptors. Drives, throws it down on Utah Watanabe. And then, of course, two years later, Ant drove mm. the lane, posterized Alperin Shangun from the Houston Rockets. He actually praised Shangun for going up with him on this one, which... That's a whole nother I, I would phrase him too. <laughs> and then this season, of course, remember this one. Stops, drops, oh, throws it off the backboard, gathers it off the glass to himself. We were so cute. We were so naive. We <laughs> thought that that was the best we were going to see from him this season. Oh, no, no. Last night, he rises up from just past the free throw line, baptizes John Collins. I'm not sure we could call him John the Baptist anymore after that happened. What a dunk. What a night. What a start to spring. And what a panel we have here today. He is our senior writer, Brian Windhorse. He is Austin Rivers. You guys got the outfit memo today. Kendrick uh, Perkins. I, I mean, I raised them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm Malika right. Andrews. Uh, <laughs> hey, Patrick's Perkins. Day was two days ago. Yeah, yeah but, you know, it's better late than never. Okay. Is Anthony Edwards the most must-watch player in the NBA right now? Hell yeah, he is, especially with John ja Morant being out in no disrespect to Victor Wimbayama because he's must-see TV. But when it comes down to Anthony Edwards, not only is he the like must-see TV, he's actually the face of the league, the future face of the league. He has everything and more when you what you want in the face of the league and must see TV. He's going to give you the highlights. He's going to give you the crossovers. He's going to give you the step backs. He's going to give you the smiles. He's going to give you the interviews after the game. He gives you everything that you want out of a human highlight reel, out of a walking human highlight reel. Excuse me. Yeah, he's Michael's uh, long-lost son, right? That's, 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 that's what they say. Um, he's, he's, you could use it going for, you call him Kawhi Leonard Jordan, so now is it Anthony Edwards Jordan? No, 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 no. It's just 88, Mike. He hasn't, he yeah. hasn't beat the allegations Mike. yet. Okay. He hasn't beat the allegations yet. Um, this is a guy <laughs> who, anytime you have a player who can dominate the game, not only through skill, yeah. but in the air, mm. You know, we, we picture Kobe, we picture Michael. These guys weren't just fadeaway. They, they were iconic in the air. And when we see Ant, it does remind, it helps you reminisce some of these guys that came before him. We talk about faces of the league. You could say Shea, Jokic, you know, all these different things. There are things that Anthony Edwards can do on the basketball court just from an off standpoint that just helps you, you know, it leaves you in awe. This guy's a total package because, yeah. first off, he plays at both ends of the court. He loves defense. We know this because less than a month ago, he stopped all of us again with a defensive highlight. He very easily could have the best defensive highlight and offensive highlight of the season. He's got, as Perk said, a wonderful personality. I got to spend a month with him last summer with Team USA, being around him every day, watching him in practice, watching how he interacts with teammates. He is a joy to be around. He is a joy to watch play. Absolutely. He is, without question, if you are looking to teach your kids or show your kids somebody that you want to have be their favorite player, introduce them to Anthony Edwards because he's going to grab so many people because of these plays. Wendy, I, I actually want you to write a book 
He has. About, no, 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 okay, no, no, okay. no, another book. <laughs> I want okay. you to write a book about your time spending with the with the guys who actually with the USA with the USA team because you got so many stories to tell. I love it. I want to hear. It. He he was one of the things about him that was so great is he every single day was in a good mood. Mm. Every single day. Yeah. A month overseas, he was every mood every single day, yeah. and he was their best player. That's a special thing if you can have that kind of combination. Anthony Edwards, it is a mistake not to turn the channel to whatever, wherever he is playing on any given night because any night he is going to show us something that is utterly special as we've been looking, fishing, searching for as players are aging out of the NBA, who that next face is going to be. It is very difficult to look around and see it be anybody other mm -hmm. than Anthony Edwards because he has that complete package of the game and the personality. All right, uh, my green thumb twins, do you know what day it is? What? It's the first day of spring. Spring has officially sprung. So we need to get back to the two poster dugs from last night from two of the games. Springiest, is that a word? Can I make it a word? Players. Sorry, John Collins. Oh. <laughs> but watching this Anthony head. Edwards dunk, it's you never going to get old. It really isn't. You can't sit on the ground and grab your head. you got to get up. Even this hurts, located you his off. finger on, on the neck. right side, though, for him <laughs> and for us, the jazz board was the only one to posterize. Austin Reeves, he was on the wrong end of this huge slam from Jalen Johnson last night. Since the Lakers got the win, though, Reeves was in pretty good spirits after the game. What happened on that first play? Everybody's seen what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody had your view. <laughs> you don't want my view. I think that might be the first time I've ever been, like, really dunked on. Uh, so I made it a, a, a really long time without being very athletic, uh, picking my spots to get out of the way. Glass half full of crunch uh, uh, approach. <clears throat> have you ever been dunked on? No, I, I, I'm, not good ever, I'm not good enough to get dunked I've on. I've only ever verbally been dunked on. I've never yes, been. I, that's um, happened to me. Yeah, exactly. But um, Kendrick Perkins. Yes, ma'am. Well, uh, you say you didn't ask me? <laughs> you already know. <laughs> I ain't getting dunked on. I, I, what's it like being on? We've seen the Blake Griffin dunk. We've seen it. What's, the, what's it like being wait, on wait. the other end of a poster? Just roll the footage. Roll it. <laughs> roll the footage. <laughs> roll it. Oh, my God. Oh. oh! That's called help defense. Oh. Perk, I don't know why Perk that's learned. help defense. That's sinking and filling. Well, well I mean, you know, trying to cover up. Close but you had your face. You, yeah, it happens. Okay. You had the build of a, of a, of a charge taker. Yeah. I, I don't understand why you was trying to block a... Well, uh, he's trying to send the line. I actually, I actually finished oh. top three and blocks a couple of years. So really? It's cool. Yeah, yeah, really. Actually, actually, that that was that that was one that Wait, caught Austin? me off guard. That was a, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was one that caught me off guard. Okay. So deep. So, so here's go back the and thing. watch them afterwards. Uh, so so here's the thing, right? Like you could. Oh, uh, uh, that's some nice dunks. And we enjoy, we enjoy if you're on the other side of being the one that's actually on the good side of the highlight. But let's be honest here. If you're getting dunked on, if you're getting crossed over, that's actually a great thing. And I applaud the ones who do get dunked on. You know why? Because you look at John Collins, mm -hmm. he was contesting. You look at Austin Reeves, he was sacrificing his body trying to take a charge. I want guys on my team, or I want to see guys play that are not afraid Absolutely. of embarrassment. Absolutely. That are not afraid of embarrassment. All the greats has had their moments from Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, and I'm talking about on the other side. You know why? Because when you're competing at a high level and you're sacrificing for the betterment of your team, you don't give a damn about embarrassment. That comes last. Yes, I know everybody in the new age don't want to get put on the meme or don't want to be trending on social media, but guess what? The only thing that matters is what they think about you in the locker room. And I know you're going to get on the highlight at times. But damn it, you shouldn't be afraid of embarrassment, and I need the younger generation to understand that. I mean, yeah, what he's saying is it's fact. common sense. I mean, you, you, you. <laughs> but it's not common sense because a lot of people, you see a lot of people move out the way when yeah, somebody sure. take off. Or you see a guy not want to defend because they don't want to get crossed over. Yeah. So it's not common sense no, no, because no. it don't happen. But I'm talking no. about in terms of dunk, getting dunked on, in a, for instance, for a guard, the only time we jump is if you're actually in a position to actually contest. If you're late on a weak side, you're only setting yourself up to, to get dunked on. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's why he said, you know, you saw Austin Reeves talk about it. I pick and choose my moments right. of when I do it. You know, last night it kind of just happened a little fast. Let me give y'all a quick story real quick. Here we go. So, oh, oh wow. so, we, look, we he here and high high about it. Look, this, this was a beautiful dunk, Bob. <laughs> but listen. He didn't expect him to do it. No, but seriously, real talk. 
Eddie House, who we had on on yesterday's show, him and his son Jalen, we were playing in a we were playing in a, uh, in a in a in a in a in a regular season game against LeBron James and the Cavs. Yeah. LeBron James went down the lane and he dunked on Leon, Leon Pope. And Eddie House was on the bench and he was like, oh, like on our bench and did it. And KG was like, what you doing? Man, we don't do that around here. We don't care about their highlights and that's the type of tone you wanted to set. So we knew anytime time one of our brothers got put on the highlight reel, we, uh, highlight reel, we had to be quiet. I'm going to end this conversation. Kendrick Perkins got a $40 million contract because he played defense. Ayo, Anthony oh, Edwards. Though. I mean, can we say that's like dunk of the year? Reason. Can we say that's dunk of the year? It yeah, it it's down. a pretty clear cut down. and dry case for having the dunk down. of the year after what he did in Utah. I really, Come on, I really Collins, they'll so. forget about it. I'm gonna tap him with my pops to get the defensive numbers for you. But the question is, was that even the best highlight of the month? Like that's crazy about Anthony Edwards.